Hello there friends! I'm Miss LJ and today I'm going to teach one of the lessons in 21st century and the lesson is about flash fiction. Good morning, senior high school students. Are you ready to listen? Here are our objectives. For content standard, understand and appreciate literary texts in various genres across national literature and cultures. For performance standard, demonstrate understanding and appreciation of 21st century literature of the world through literature and cultures. For most essential learning competency, produce a creative representation of a literary text by applying multimedia and ICT skills. For our specific objectives, at the end of this lesson, you are expected to unlock vocabulary words from the text, Answer comprehension questions about the text. Realize the importance of peace and order in the world. And create a plan for the creative representation of the fox and the desert to be applied through various social media platforms. Look at this picture. What does this picture mean? Very good. It means flash fiction. Let's have a flashback or review of our previous lesson. What is a flash fiction? Correct! Flash fiction is a very short story. When did writers start writing flash fiction? You are correct! Writers started writing flash fiction at the end of 20th century towards the beginning of 21st century. What are the characteristics of flash fiction? These are the characteristics of flash fiction. It has a complete plot although they are short or concise, meaning they have beginning, middle, and end. Normally, they have a twist at the end, and it has 1,000 words or less. Our next activity is called Listen and Envision. I will play a song and you will listen. As you listen to the song, kindly envision how you see the world and the Philippines 100 years from now. Are you ready to listen? If you're ready to listen, please close your eyes as I play the song. Thank you so much for listening to the song. Do you know the title of that song? Very good! The title of that song is Handog ng Pilipino sa Mundo sung by the Apo Hiking Society. Now, let's talk about how you envision the Philippines and the world as you listen to the song by completing these sentences. Number one, in the year 2121, I see a blank Philippines. Very well. Number two, in the year 2121, I see a blank world. Hmm, you have interesting answers. Today, we will discuss the flash fiction I assigned you to read. Let us find out if your vision of the world is the same with the author of this flash fiction. We will discuss later how the author envisioned the future of this earth through the flash fiction he wrote. Before we discuss the story, let us answer this activity. The title of this next activity is called 
jumbled but not troubled. Arrange the jumbled letters to reveal the correct word to complete the following sentences. Use context clues to help you reveal the answers. Can you write your answers in your notebook? Are you ready to answer? Number one, after a nuclear bomb was dropped in Hiroshima, Japan in 1945, there were rumors that due to the blank, nothing will grow in that place anymore. Number two, I wonder how it feels like to walk on blank in the desert. Number three, the nuclear bomb blanked Hiroshima, Japan and killed 140,000 people in 1945. Number four, I thought I saw a mermaid when the reflection of the sun hit my eyes through the ocean water, but it was just a blank. Number five, the fresh bouquet of flowers grew blank over the past few days. Let us check your answers. Number one, after a nuclear bomb was dropped in Hiroshima, Japan in 1945, there were rumors that due to the fallout, nothing will grow in that place anymore. Did you get the correct answer? Great! Number two, I wonder how it feels like to walk on dunes in the desert. Do we have the same answer? Very good! Number three, the nuclear bomb wiped out Hiroshima, Japan and killed 140,000 people in 1945. Do we have the same answer? Great! Number four, I thought I saw a mermaid when the reflection of the sun hit my eyes through the ocean water, but it was just a mirage. Did you get it correctly? Very well! Number five, the fresh bouquet of flowers grew wizened over the past few days. Do we have the same answer? You're doing great! Now, let us read the words again. Repeat after me. Number one, fall out. Number two, dunes. Number three, wiped out. Number four, mirage. And number five, Wizened. We are now ready to discuss the story. What is the title of the flash fiction I assigned you to read? Very good! The title of the flash fiction is The Fox and the Desert, written by Vashti Kashan Smith. Did you read the story? Very well! Thank you so much for doing your homework. We are now ready to discuss the story to the class. We will be discussing the flash fiction, The Fox and the Desert, through a game. The name of the game is The Wittiest Wind. You will be playing with your groupmates. Here are the rules of the game. Number one, there are five categories. Each category has three questions. Each question has a corresponding point or points. Number two, each group will take turns in answering the questions. If within five seconds, the group was not able to answer the question correctly, the other group may steal. The group who answered the question correctly will earn the point or points. Number three, at the end of the game, the team who earned most number of points will be the winner. And number four, you may refer to your copy of the story 
to answer the questions. Are you ready to play the wittiest wins? If you're ready, let's begin. So we will start with group 1, followed by group 2, 3, 4, and 5. Then we will go back to number 1, or group number 1. I hope you read the story carefully. So let's begin. Group 1, analyzing for 3 points. Cite the part in the story that implies that the air on earth is not safe for any living thing anymore. Correct! Here are the lines in the story that will prove that the air on earth is not safe anymore for any living thing. First, Michael says with the shuttle, preparing it for departure in less than an hour if we can manage it. The air is toxic, but we don't wear suits. Here in the desert, the earth's atmosphere is okay in small doses. In those lines, it shows that the air on earth is not safe anymore. It's already toxic. But the air in the desert is tolerable. So the characters were able to stay there in the desert without wearing suits. Next, we have an hour to find it, then 15 minutes to get back to the rocket. Anything longer is unsafe. So beyond one hour and 15 minutes, they might die because of the toxic level of the air in the earth. Next, group two, applying for two points. What will you miss about your family if you will not see them in eight years and why? Correct. Thank you so much for sharing your answer. Of course, we will miss our family. We will miss the bonding moments in our family because we love them. So we have beautiful memories with our family that we miss, especially now that it's pandemic. Um, we don't see some of our relatives, our friends, and our family because most of us cannot go out of, the, of our houses. But since there is already the advanced technology like internet, we can still communicate to them through video calling, we will be able to express our love and care for them. Next, group three, four, three points, analyzing. Cite at least one part in the story that shows that the botanist is hoping that there is still life on earth. You are correct. The first proof that the botanist is hoping that there is still life on earth is because of the line in the shuttle on our way back home i hold the vial close to my chest i shouldn't it's fragile but i can't help it so the botanist is holding a vial inside the vial is the small plant that they were able to see or found in the desert and they put it inside the vial to be checked in the laboratory when they go outside the earth when they go back to the outer space or to another planet where they are living already um, the botanist knows that it's very fragile but he kept it close to his chest because he's a sign that he's hoping that particular plant will be able to grow and they will be able to repopulate the earth Next, but out of the corner of my eye, I see it, the fox, at the crest of the dune, with its ears, each the size of its head, perked forward towards us, and its bushy black tipped tail undulating in the wind as though it was made of nothing more solid than memories, and then it's gone. The fox, in those lines, symbolizes that the botanist is still hoping that there would still be life on earth there you go group four evaluating for four points do you believe that animals have ghosts why or why not
right. Thank you so much for sharing your answer. In our Christian belief here in the Philippines, we do not believe that animals have ghosts because it's not written in the Bible that animals have soul or spirit. That's why whenever we see or we, whenever we encounter um, incidents that someone says that he or she has seen a ghost, normally they would see it as in the form of a human being, not not like animals. All right. Group 5, applying for two points. If you have seen a ghost, will you share the experience with your classmates? Why or why not? You're right. Well, thank you so much for explaining your answer. If I will be able to see a ghost, I, I believe I will share to my classmates because I want to know if they have seen it also and I want to share to them my experience. Now let's go back to group one, understanding for one point. Where do these characters come from? Prove your answer for another one point. You are correct. They may have come from the outer space or from another planet. Here's the proof. I haven't been on Earth in over eight years. So it means to say these characters are already living outside the Earth. So in outer space or maybe in another planet. Next, group two, applying for two points. If you are the botanist in the story, would you risk your life coming on Earth just to get the remaining remnants of living things on Earth? Why or why not? Right, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts. If I were the botanist in the story, I would um, risk my life coming on Earth just to get the remaining remnants of living thing here on Earth because a botanist character is someone who likes to study plants living things for that matter so he would always want to know if there's living thing in this particular area or place especially the earth because we we look at earth as our home and we would always want to go back to our home next group three analyzing for three points cite the part in the story that tells that the characters feel guilty of the loss of life on earth. You're right. This line shows that the characters feel guilty of the loss of life on earth. It says, can you imagine what the world would be like crawling with the ghosts of all the creatures we've wiped out? So the ghosts of the animals that they are thinking in the story symbolize their guilt of what they did on earth. They know, these characters know that animals do not have ghosts. But why, did, why are they thinking about ghosts of the animals they have wiped out? It's because the human beings living out in the outer space are the reasons why there are no already life on earth because of what they did. So somehow it implies in the story that these human beings um, use nuclear bombs to stop the problem or whatever problem was going on in the earth way before they come back here on earth in the past based on this story. So the people were able to evacuate from earth except the other animals that they cannot bring with them and of course the plants that they cannot bring with them. Next, group four, understanding for one point. Are there any other human beings living on earth in the story? Prove your answer for another one point. That's right. There are no other human beings living on earth and here are the lines from the story that will prove that. First, it's Bonnie who navigates. 
I'm a botanist, not an astronaut. I look around myself, the Sahara Desert, who would have thought that here, of all places, we'd find the last remnants of life on Earth. So meaning to say, there are no other living things living on Earth except to that last remnant, that small plant that they saw through the satellite. Next, seems such a shame there'll be no life on Earth again if we remove it. There'll be no life on Earth anyway if we do not, Bonnie says. So they, in, this, in these lines, they are arguing if they are going to get that plant, that very small plant, like a tip of a finger from this earth and leaving earth without leaving things again. Just like what happened in the past when they, uh, the human beings are the reasons for the loss of life here on earth. So, and the other one says, Anyway, there's no life here on Earth, so why not get it? So on those lines prove that there are no any other living things on Earth in the story. Next, group 5, evaluating for 5 points. What is the importance of maintaining peace and order in the world? Very good. Thank you so much for sharing your answer. Well, the importance of maintaining peace and order in the world is that it makes us all secured and safe in, in our surroundings, in our environment. And if we are safe and secured, we will feel happy. And when people are happy, we will be able to do the things that we have to do. And that is, for example, protecting our environment, protecting our nature. And we do this for our generation and for the future generation. Congratulations to the wittiest team. Two thumbs up for you guys. Good job. Let's go back to the story again, The Fox and the Desert. What is the genre of this literary piece? Correct. It is an example of flash fiction. Why did you say that it is a flash fiction. You are correct. It is an example of flash fiction because it has the characteristics of flash fiction. So what are the characteristics of flash fiction again? That's correct. Number one, it is a very short story yet it has a complete plot, meaning it has beginning, middle, and end. It has less than 1,000 words. In fact, this story, The Fox and the Desert, has only 929 words. Is the setting realistic? That's correct. The setting is not realistic. Is the place where the characters live are realistic? Right. Again, the place where the characters live are not realistic. Is the scenario a reali realistic event in our present time? You're right. The scenario is not realistic event in our present time. So what do you call those things which are formed based on theory and without firm evidence? That's right. Those are called speculations. Based on the setting and the events in the story, we can identify that this is an example of speculative fiction. So how would you define speculative fiction? Correct. Speculative fiction is a literary genre that encompasses works in which the setting is other than the real world involving supernatural or futuristic elements. Let us practice your skills now in our next activity. The title of our next activity is Let's Go on the Same Page. For your performance task, your class will create a Facebook page. 
each group will plan the contents that will be shared in your class's Facebook page. You will be required to upload your content in the social media platform of your choice either on TikTok or YouTube. Once uploaded, you will be required to share the link in the class's Facebook page. Accomplish the worksheet today assigned to your group to help you plan carefully your content. It is very important that one has to plan carefully a content before sharing it in any social media platform to refrain from mistakes. Here are the tasks of each group. Group 1. Plan your class's Facebook page. Here is your worksheet. In your worksheet, you're going to write the objectives. What are the objectives in creating this Facebook page? Then, page's name. Create a catchy name for your Facebook page. Next, profile picture. Describe the design of the profile picture. What it would look like, what is the color. Next is the cover photo. Describe also the design of your cover photo. And description. Write an outline of the, of the information you want to talk about on this page. So, reminder, make sure that you're going to promote the, the flash story or the flash fiction, um, the fox in the desert. And at the same time, you are going to promote flash fiction. Here's the task of group two. Plan the infographic to promote peace and order in the world. So here is your worksheet. You're going to write objectives. You're going to write the objectives in creating this infographic. Then define peace and order. So this is something that you need to uh, research. You need to research on this. How does the Philippines keep peace and order? How does the world keep peace and order and then after you have researched the meaning of peace and order how how does the philippines maintain our peace and order in our country and so in another in another countries um in in your in your own perspective how do senior high school students may contribute to the peace and order in our country here's the task of group three plan the 15 second video to help promote the flash fiction, the fox and the desert. Here's your worksheet. Write your objectives. What are the objectives in creating this 15 second video? Then, write a storyline for the 15 second video. In your storyline, you must think of how will your 15 second video encourage your fellow senior high school students to read this speculative flash fiction. Then, choose a social media where you like to upload it to, either in TikTok or YouTube. Here's the task of Group 4. Plan the 15-second video portraying the author in an interview to promote the flash fiction, The Fox and the Desert. Here's your worksheet. First, you have to write your objectives. What are the objectives in creating this 15-second video? Next, what is the information you gathered about the author? Next, what are the questions you will ask him during the interview? Who will portray the author? Choose a social media where you like to upload it to, either TikTok or YouTube. Here's the task of Group 5. Plan the 15-second video to promote speculative flash fiction to invite students to write and showcase their skills. Here's your worksheet. First, you have to write your objectives. What are the objectives in creating this 15-second video? Then, write a storyline for the 15-second video. How will your 15-second video encourage your fellow senior high school students to write flash fiction? Then, Choose a social media where you like to upload it to, either in TikTok or YouTube. Here's your rubric for your plan. You will get 5 points in objectives if all of the objectives are correct and connected to the task. 
Next, you will get 5 points in plan if your plan is perfectly clear and visible. You will get 5 points in your concept if it is excellently well thought out. And if your grammar and structure are perfect, you will get another 5 points. So that's a total of 20 points. Are you ready to share your plan to the class? Each group is given one minute to share their plan to the class. Thank you so much for sharing your plan. For your homework, execute your performance task based on your plan. You will present it to the class next session before you launch your Facebook page and before you upload your videos in either TikTok or YouTube. You will be given a chance to critic your classmates' work before we upload them in any social media account. That is to make sure that there is no mistake once it has already been uploaded. Thank you so much for participating in our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed and learned in our lesson. See you on our next session. Do you find this video inspiring? Please show your support by liking and sharing this video. And please subscribe to my channel to watch more of my videos and upcoming videos. And if you want me to hear your thoughts, put them in the comment box. Thank you.